Good morning, people. I will be over on that channel switching in a second. If you are watching, I know my microphone works on all scenes so you guys can hear me as it is. Alrighty. Switched over. Hey, the camera's really out of whack. Let me fix that up a little. A little dark, I'm not sure why, but we'll have to deal with it today. So, good morning, everybody. I know a lot of people are not in here just yet, but they will be following in. And good morning, Justin, if you're watching. Uh, happy weekend to everybody. As you guys see, I already have the fan going. It is super hot in my apartment. Uh, the one thing I dread about living on the fourth floor, but... One good thing about the fourth floor is I don't have nobody living above me. <laughs> so I'm the annoying loud neighbor that everybody hates. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, guys, we are doing a slightly early stream on this Saturday, of course, um, to have some fun, get the day over. Plus, I have a lot of videos to try to push through before Sunday night when I have to tear down all of my PCs. Uh, another big thing to announce is, is, of course, we do have our $500 or Xbox giveaway going on, so make sure to enter that. If you need the code, it is Stone Dragon. But, of course, that code changes tomorrow anyway, so this is your last chance to get that code in today. Hopefully everything sounds good. Hopefully everything looks half decent. I am not sure what is with all the shadowing. So, of course, guys, the first product we're going to talk about is the OBSBOT Tiny PTZ 4K. Now, this is a camera I'm actually using right now, and it is a really great camera. The cool part is it is AI tracking. The AI tracking works so great that it will actually follow you back and forth so smooth. It is crazy. Now, I can kind of unlock this and have you guys follow me all the way over here so I can wave and say hi, and you guys can see the rest of my house. But I don't want to go too far, because you never know. And if I come back, you guys will see the bucket on the floor that's going to get fixed this week. I will unlock that. We will kind of adjust this back to here. Now, we'll kind of talk a little bit more stuff about this. This thing is a full-on AI tracking phone. You can do just plug and play, guys, if that's what you want. But I highly recommend adding the OBSBOT TinyCam software. Now that software is a full on software that does so much. It's crazy, including it can run more than one of these cameras at a time. It'll actually give you tracking, zooming, and I can actually zoom the 4K four times in and you can actually get way up in on my beard just like that if you really want. Or we can zoom all the way back. So anywhere from zero to 4K time, or four times zoom really is amazing to actually have that type of zoom quality now a couple of other things it does it does you know you can have device auto sleep timers you can do gesture controls for the target lock or zoom controls with by like just setting the l up i don't have that set up of course you can do tracking mode the tracking modes can do standard head modes and all of that cool stuff um configuring video and we can actually configure this a little and like Add a little light to this, just like that. Add a little light so you guys can see me slightly better, but it will make it slightly grainier. You can do anti-flicker 60, 50, or off, which is really nice to have that anti-flicker, HDR, auto-focusing, face focus, face AE. And now, uh, if anybody in chat knows what the actual face AE is, I would love to know what the AE part stands for. I have looked it up a few times, and I can't technically really find what it truly is. Now, you can also change the screen mode from landscape to portrait. Now, that is actually really cool that I can change my picture from the wide screen to tall screen. So you can actually like say it's almost like if you want to use it for like a TikTok or something, you can go in port a lot of landscape mode or portrait mode, which changes the whole uh, scenery. Then you also have noise reduction, which is nice if you use the microphone and global hotkeys and remote control. Hey, good morning, Richard. So the tiny 
the Obsbot Tiny PTZ 4K is a very awesome camera, and I highly recommend that thing. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Uh, it is already super hot in my apartment, guys. Miserable. And I can't put no AC in. Well, for one, I got to get an AC. But I cannot put an AC in until they fix my ceiling. <laughs> one sec, guys. The wife is texting me, and I'm not sure why. For some reason, I think she forgot to take her meds. Joy. Oh, joy. So, any questions about the camera that I use or the camera that we're showing? It's the exact same camera. It's an Obsbot, and it is just a really great camera. Now, today it is, I believe, like $228, but I don't know if there's actually a clippable coupon, and there is not, so I had to look. But... Really, really great camera, guys. I highly, highly recommend the Opspot cameras. It's just crazy how nice they are and how well they work. I actually took away my Avier Media 4K camera for this camera. But once I have a widescreen lens, I will be moving over to my Sony ZV-E10, which will make me even more happier. Any questions about that, guys? If not, we're going to move over to the robot vacuum, the trifo. Uh, if I pronounce that wrong, I apologize. Let me go make sure. Yeah, the trifo robotic vacuum. Now, guys, this does have 4,000 PA uh, strong suction. It also has a 2,600 milliamp battery and a $40 clippable coupon, which is actually a great deal. And I'm going to switch scenes and I'm going to play a little video. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and, and we have Entertainment. And today Tater we're going Nate to be taking a look it. at this absolutely awesome robot pet vacuum from Trifo. So now this might not be your average run of the mill robot vacuum. I know you guys have seen these everywhere. This one actually is designed for pets and having pet hair in mind. And the reason it does this is it does have quite a bit larger of a collection than, than like so most far. of the ones that I have seen or used out there. And this also has doubled the suction strength of most of your absolute top of the line vacuums taking a look at the bottom here you're going to notice that you have these off-roading tires which actually kind of aren't necessarily off-roading but they do go up and down for different terrain surfaces and then also on the bottom you're going to notice here that instead of just these three bristles you're also going to have internal bristles and that's just going to give you more coverage area and make sure you get everything up off of the carpet Getting this set up was super easy. All you have to do is download the Trifo app and pair your device with it. Once you have that paired, uh, Justin is really uh, around somewhere. I'm sure he'll app, be popping very, in any minute. Very, very simple to use. He does have does a full have day ahead of him though. compatibility. You can see the mapping of everything, the remaining battery life, the cleaning. He is moving his area. PC to a new you can room. The suction strength as well today, as a ton of other settings. You guys, the stream see right tomorrow here. will be so a whole different setup. So the app is definitely super simple to use, and there's no guesswork to it, which is just a really nice feature that you don't have to. To try to figure this thing out so we found emma a nice little home right here as you can see yeah, i love how he named it start, emma. You're notice that the bristles will start to move and then away it goes and honestly one of the things that i really like about this is its directional patterning it does a really good job of figuring out where it can and cannot go and it's very accurate in doing so i've used others that aren't as accurate and as you can see here this also i agree with that some of them don't system, work as, as you well can see all across my carpet, you got those nice carpet lines, which just look really nice. Now, while this might not move as fast as some other vacuums I have used, I actually see that as a plus. Yeah, it's giving it more time it. over the surface area that you're cleaning for it to pick everything up. Oh, no. Honestly, I really like this shot. All I had to do was just put my camera right up here on top. So yeah, guys, this is an absolutely great robot vacuum, which, like I said, also has a mopping feature. So if you guys have been looking for a new robot vacuum, get a mount of GoPro. On this one, it's hey, a Phil. great price. Yeah, buddy. I think you guys will be very happy with it. I'll see you guys. I the just me right at the second, but Justin is around. So that is the Trifo robot vacuum for pet owners, guys. That is a really great vacuum if you need it. Now, some dogs may not like that, so just remember that. Now, the next little thing. <laughs> next little thing we're gonna pop over is to the Insignia 42 inch uh, TV. This is a full fire TV, guys, if you need it. Hey guys, my name is Demetrius, and I'm going to be showing you guys this Insignia Fire TV that came in a 42-inch LED display. It has a HDMI ports, as I'll show you later in the video, and it's that F20 series. And it also has that 
press and ask Alexa feature on there. Really, really awesome TV so far. It came in a really solid box. Um, as you can see, it has a right, Who's cooking breakfast top. for everybody? And we like bacon around here. Extra padding at the top. As I'm going to show you how I'm going to uh -huh. remove all the stuff that came bacon. with. It has both feet. Let's set to the bottom of the TV if you wanted it. And then you have the child safety piece of form. And then you will have next is the TV remote, the manual, and then you have some uh, batteries in there too. Uh, the batteries, if it didn't come with it, the batteries you'll use is a triple A batteries. Comes in this plastic too to protect that screen of that glossy look. Uh, there you have it, a uh, 42 inch LED FHD F20 <laughs> series. Somebody has Sigma bacon. Fire TV. Really, really clean look. I was just at Dunkin' Donuts for my wife and got her guy, coffee and a donut. And I was like, I should have got myself some. Comes in a uh, plastic film all, all around the edges. And then I realized how the much the prices went up. You have all these connectors right here, the HDMI's. And then you have the USB, of course. And then like, I could have bought two packs cord. of bacon for what I bought her. And then on the bottom, you had the, you know, the red, yellow, and white cord at the bottom which you you know hook up that with it uh, uh no you need system. at least four to five and then you have the cable just cord. saying so you can use <laughs> those four spots right there if just you clog my arteries and get over with <laughs> and it comes with the screws <laughs> labeled right there and then you have the power connector that came with a safety little power connector thing and it has a zip lock uh little zip tie connected. it really has gotten so too that, expensive uh, the battery is pretty much simp simply easy my store in, had it on sale the, the other day the, for like uh, four dollars which was actually uh, a decent price have a little notch right there on the back for you, you know what the, the way remote. price it's going right now. yeah exactly it was just simply just pop right off I mean, like a couple weeks ago i got so some that, for like 2.99 which is just crazy it has a lot of updating and a lot of software. I see, I'm trying, that's what I'm saying. It takes about five minutes. To update we all everything. want bacon around here. And, we, uh, we need we needed some food. Really, you know, really. The big guys so get gonna, gonna then, waste away. Boom. He might not fit in his it. big clothes no more. The Equalizer <laughs> Two is displayed on the screen and really, really uh, perfect picture. You have all these apps right here already on the TV. You have Netflix Prime Video. So guys, the Signia, Insignia 42 inch TV is a full fire TV, which which means you have all the apps that you can need. Any app that you find on the uh, the app store will be able to download in, into there. You guys can even add Cody if you really want. Um, I don't use that no more. Uh, I did use it to actually peer to peer for my uh, my theater or my home server, but you know you could add all that stuff. But another cool thing is is you can add Amazon Luna which Luno is a game-based service. And with the game-based service with Amazon Luna is you can actually cloud game off this TV because it's actually a Fire TV. Now, the Amazon Luna is really cool because your your the controller works and hooks up to like an app on your phone. Once you have the app, it's always connected to your Wi-Fi signal, which means you can change from, let's say, that TV over to your PC and constantly swap the game back and forth. So that's a great option to know about the Amazon Fire TVs and it allows you to do that. It'll allow you to do that with the Fire Sticks and everything else. I'm saving my bacon for some hamburgers later. Uh, <laughs> we don't save bacon around here, sir. We eat bacon. Uh, what's this? Uh-oh. Hey, uh, I forgot to pay my phone bill. <laughs> Everything's, yeah, 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 everything is going up. Hey, Sammy. Good morning. So the Insignia TV is actually a great option if you guys are looking for a decently cheap priced TV. Yeah, it's just getting crazy. Uh, somebody forgot to pay the phone bill, so I'm getting text messages from everybody on the plan. <laughs> My bad. Dude, I, I can't believe I forgot to pay the phone bill. I, it's all good. No, I have the money. I just forgot to pay it. Now, guys, the next product we're showcasing is The Expanse. If you guys have not watched The Expanse on Amazon, the, uh, the Blu-ray is actually a great option to get this. 
I love the show. The show is just amazing. Now, Amos is my favorite character on this place, on the show. And there's just something about Amos uh, that just grasps you when you watch the show. If you guys are into sci-fi or space movies, this is actually a really good one to pick up. Even in Blu-ray, it's like $21 right now. If you want the DVD version, it's a little more. But if you have Amazon Prime, you guys can watch it on Prime also. How do you spell that? Uh, how do I spell what? <laughs> Amos? I have no clue how it's spelled. Don't ask me. I can barely spell my own name. Yeah, The Expanse is an awesome, awesome show. I won't go into a lot of detail. I just know that they have the Blu-ray on deal today, so I figured I'd showcase it uh, to you guys and all that. So, great, great show. I love it. Uh, what do you mean, what? My uh, spelling joke? <laughs> yeah, they, they, yeah, I mean, I've watched it through a couple times, and I'm going to probably watch it through again. I, I'm sad that the show is over. There is no more of it, but just a really, really great show. Now, the Fire Tablet. I believe Justin did this video for us. We're gonna actually play this. I am here unboxing the new Fire HD 10 tablet, and I chose this bluish kind of turquoise, so it was a little darker turquoise color for the tablet. Everybody I is have texting had me. My Kindle Fire HDX tablet since 2013. Can you believe that I've actually had a functioning tablet for that many years? Seriously, HDX 8.9 inch tablet. They don't even make them anymore since 2013. I thought it was about time I have an upgrade. So. I wanted the Fire HD 10 specifically Not because sure I how don't I have the voice with up. Alexa on the HDX that old. I wanted the 10.1 inch screen, which is slightly hot, uh, larger than the 8.9 inch HDX screen. I wanted the USB Type C, and I yeah. just want to install the latest. Uh, if screen, that's what you want to call him, and there's more uh, memory. To me, the he's HD the so go, go and get it done, it dude. Get. <laughs> the first thing you'll see is the HD 10 it. tablet itself. And I really like this color, by the way. I'm tired of black or white or silver. I wanted something with a little bit of color. So look at this. I personally think he should have got nice more screen time than uh, James. Tablet. Look at the size of this 10.1 inch screen. Just this saying. is the HDX 8.9. Look at the size of the 10.1 inch versus the HDX 8.9. You get all that extra room in comparison. So it's definitely a larger screen size. You can see it's a lot wider. Definitely add it. I'm telling you, it's really worth the watch. It's uh, better for watching several movies, seasons long. On. So let's get in the box. So oh. take it out here. I'm not even kidding, guys. My phone is blowing up over the phone belt. The charger, of course, <laughs> and the USB C plug. So all you need to do is charge need to slow down. the Fire HD 10. Connected to yeah, the yeah, account, most definitely. He carried. Well, to They're me, he carried easily. the show. And then I'll go ahead and boot it up, start testing, playing with some apps, doing performance testing, benchmarks, various things like that. Again, this is the brand new Fire HD 10 with USB C. It is two gigs of RAM. Now, surprisingly, the HD Amazon Prime gigs of RAM, and I'm wondering why Amazon Prime is where it's at. Two gigs of RAM, a gig. So if you have, a, if you already pay for you know, Prime, you, it's fine, free. It's in the Prime video. At least three or four gigs of RAM. You know, for some of the 3D intensive games, it should work out just fine. So that is the Fire Tablet, guys. As you can see, Justin did a little video on that. And it's actually decently priced at $139. If you guys need a tablet that also has all the Fire options, just a great little option. But yeah, you're welcome, PC Phil. Uh, definitely worth the watch with The Expanse. Uh, if Justin was in here, he'd be going on about it with us. And, you know, I try not to talk too much about the show, even when we're pointing stuff out. That way people like, you know, like yourself that have not watched it can actually get the full grip of the show. Because, I mean, the show is just that great that, you know, why give people spoilers and ruin it for them? It's just one of them shows. Now we're going to be moving on over to the JBL Clip 4 Portable. Now this is a Bluetooth speaker. It's coming in like $59 today. I believe Nikita did the video for us for this one, and we're going to show you that. So this is my little JBL Clip 4 speaker. I just unboxed it and connected it to my phone. So I'm going to kind of demonstrate how it works and everything. It's really super simple. I like to listen to music 
while I shower. And so this is going to be a nice... Now my mom's texting me. My shower stand. Hey, I'm important today. Um, it, it says that on the casing for it that it is IP67 waterproof and dustproof and has up to 10 hours. So you can take this to the shower with you guys. If you want to listen to music in the shower, this can go in there. Don't worry about it. It has two buttons right here. You can kind of see this is the power button. You just hold it for a little bit to turn it on. And then if you want to connect it to a Bluetooth, you just hold this for about two seconds and then you're good. As you can see on the front, it has... I don't sing in the shower though. For play, increase volume and decrease volume. I can't sing whatsoever. Music here from my phone so you guys can hear how it sounds. So just automatically you can see and I'm going to go ahead and raise the volume. Nice and then As he plays some music that was on like Laurel and Hardy back in the days. And then, um, I, can I love it. Hit this button and stop it. I was actually and shocked the first time I heard this video and saw that. Speaker. It does have a good amount of volume <laughs> and bass to it. And it's just really nice. Maybe I'm showing my so age. If you're looking for a nice little speaker that fits those needs, definitely check this one out. Nice little product, guys. Now we're going to move over, over to the AirTalk purifier in a second. But I'm going to also remind you guys, if you need the code for the Xbox Live giveaway or the Xbox uh, giveaway or the $500 gift card, today's code to, where did today or today, you know, is the last day for the code word NS Stone Dragon. Uh, I'll have Justin post the link if you guys need the link. Uh, there is Justin. He is back. Now, Justin is making a big move today. He is moving his whole PC and streaming setup into a bigger room or a different room, I should say. So tomorrow's live stream, guys, when you see it, if he is fully set up and ready for it, we'll be in a whole different setup. So you guys are going to see a whole different room and hopefully a nice little uh, tapestry or tapestry behind it. His new office, yes. Uh, Mrs. Dragon Blogger uh, decided she wanted her room. No, just it's actually a good move for Justin going to another room. I mean, I wished I had a whole separate room for my whole streaming setup because I mean, then I could do a lot more. And instead, I am in the living room. As you guys see this here, I do mine in my living room, so I have to work around my family when my stream times are, and I have to work around when my neighbors are around. So it's all one of those things. So I'm jealous of Justin having his own office. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, his son's in the military. So, you know, he got an office from, you know, out of it. Hope to get tuned in as well. Yeah, it should be a good one. I can't wait to see. Uh, Justin's been talking about this tapestry or tapestry he wants to put behind him. Oh, did we? Oh, we just launched a brand new giveaway, guys. If you want to enter that one, send come foot massage. I did not even know we did that one. I can tell you right now, my wife's been begging me to get out of the living room and have a new setup, but we just don't have the space for it in my place. It would be awesome to have my own awesome office. Now we're going to move over to the AirTalk Air Purifier, and I believe Justin did this video for us, and he did. I'm showcasing their single room air purifier. And if you guys haven't seen all of our merch like he's wearing on in the show or my hat, we do have merch, guys. Do is open it up in the canister. And actually very good quality merch. I'm actually quite surprised that every piece of merch that I have received so far has been high quality. You may not know where the power cord is. And very comfy underneath the filter inside of it. So that's something you, you just let you know if you do get this, that the power cord's hidden in between the filter. When you that's a good thing. So yeah, we do have a new merch store new. coming, guys. The other is, this is much more portable. Great for a bedroom or, you know. Like uh, stone Dragon, like all one word. Dining room, not a full house one like the other air purifier. So that code goes inactive after midnight, guys, and then tomorrow's code hours, will be shown on the stream. I always appreciate when they have a touch screen that there's a lock because you never know if a pet's going to throw his arms up or you have a little kid and they're going to touch the various buttons. Having the lock on there makes it We have what, one week left of this giveaway? You don't want to have to touch them. And then, of course, you have three fans. I believe. And you have quiet mode. And it also lets you know when the filter's dirty. It has an indicator when the filter's dirty. So I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to show you how quiet it is in the various speed settings when it runs. Yep. Yeah, that's what okay. I thought. I run an air purifier in the Next living room. Next Saturday, it's over. So make sure to get your entries, guys. Every bedroom, especially if your bedroom is down a long hallway where your large air purifier can't pull in air from rooms on the other side of the house. Tucked away right there. 
I'm not looking forward to tomorrow night. I don't know what I'm going to do without a PC is, for a few uh, days. Kind of cyan I'm going to be bored. Light, which is kind of cool. But you can turn that light on and off if you want it dark. So that's nice too. Here's its loudest volume. It's not as loud as a medium fan. It's not terribly loud. It's not, not bad. And then on the lowest volume, or the slowest speed, pretty quiet. can barely hear it. I can barely hear it. It's lower than a fan on low. So now this air purifier, guys, we'll talk about it. The air purifier that he's showing is good for like little rooms, like a hundred square feet. You know, awesome little uh, product. Very silent, not super loud, so it works well. The good point he pointed out, guys, make sure when you open it that your power cord is actually down in the bottom on the filter. A lot of people will actually open these packages and be like, "Oh, they did not send me a power cord." Well, that's because they hid it in the filter. That way they can actually, you know, sh shrink down the packaging size. Now, another thing we're going to point out is, is it actually has a child safety lock. The child safety lock you will have to hold down for three seconds. But if you guys know kids or little kids, they may hold that button down anyway. So it may just come unlocked anyways. But it's a nice little feature to have it. But, you know, it, it's not really a necessity on an air purifier. Now, AirTalk makes some great air purifiers. I've actually done a couple. Uh, we've had some other members do a couple. And I can actually contest that they actually work very well. Now, as you guys see back here behind this big pot, I have actually a super big one. So I use it all the time. It's actually been helping me with my allergies. It actually clears a lot of the dust. Like before I had that air purifier, my PC was a lot, or my PC and my desk would collect a lot more dust but now with that, it's a lot better. Good morning. So if you have any questions about that, please ask. If not, we'll move over to the RC car from Q9 from SEMA. Now, if you guys have ever seen a SEMA product, they've actually worked very well for a little toy. So I just unboxed my SEMA speedboat. Here's the box for it, as you can see. Um, and this is everything that it comes with, everything you need. Uh, except for two AA batteries for the remote, but it comes with the battery for the boat, the charger for the battery, the boat itself, and the screwdriver, which you're going to need to put batteries into this. All you have to do is simply uh, un like latch this little piece right here, lift it up, put the battery in, and you're good to go. So I'm going to take this out to my pool and test it out and show you guys the results. So I've got it in the water, and as you can see, it, uh, it really does go around. I love playing with this thing. Once you put it into the water and turn on the remote, it starts working automatically. I'm jealous. He's got a you pull. Pull the trigger to go forward, or you can kind of backtrack by pushing up on the trigger. Ah, uh, cool. If you go forward and turn the little knob wheel down, it'll of course, turn mine would probably right still be frozen. The opposite way, <laughs> turn to the left, and you can just do a bunch of different stuff. It's really fun. Um, great for all ages. If you want to take it out into open water, if you want to use it how I have it here in the pool. It's just a really fun little, nice, cool <laughs> toy to use. So um, if you're looking to check out an RC boat, this is definitely one that you should look at. So that is the SEMA Q9 RC boat, guys. A great little toy for the kids, if you, you know, or adults alike. Either way, a nice little toy and actually works pretty decent. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Evans. Yeah, we start a little early, guys. <laughs> Now we're going to move over to the Threken RC car and stunt car. Now I have not seen this one yet. This is a new video. So So this is the Three Kings oh, Hyper Wheel Nikita too. car. And I'm oh, Three Kings. I have Man, I read it as Threken. Right here. The other one is charging. That's the one I'm going to use. <laughs> hey, Chucky, so, buddy. How you doing, man? Of course, I have the remote control here. Which so I get for looking down a little screen. A small screwdriver and put two AA batteries in to use. It does not come with the screwdriver for it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some batteries in it. Let the battery for the car. Oh, it didn't come with the screwdriver to open it up. So I brought my racer outside. I've got it ready to go. You have to turn it on on the actual device and the car itself to make sure that it's on. But basically, once you put it down, can we talk about those Crocs? No. Pushing up on the left side makes the left side go forward and not the right side. 
and then pushing it on the right side does the exact opposite. But if you push them both at the same time in any direction, they'll go forwards or backwards. And then of course, it's four wheel drive and all terrain, so. Uh, James and the kid, you mean Nate? Anything. Nate. I don't wear Crocs. <laughs> I wear Jordans. I have a Jordan I love how problem. It hits something that it can't necessarily go over because of how the wheels function. I love how that flips. That's kind of cool. You know, fold over. Um, you can basically cross over any terrain. It makes it so fun. Um, it's basically flip proof, as you can see. But. Um, if you're looking for a nice RC vehicle to have oh, the Under Armors? over any outside terrain, definitely check this one out. I've actually never tried Under Armour. So that's the Three King RC stunt car, guys. Actually, nice little product. Now, we're going to move over to the Magic, Magic Team Sound Machine, if I can actually pronounce this today, since I'm stuttering. Uh, the Magic Team Sound Machine, I actually did this. This thing's really cool for the people that actually need noise in the background or white noise. If you guys have ever been to like a dentist office or a hospital and you ever heard the little static noise in the background, that is what a white noise machine is. Now this white ma noise machine actually does like 20 different um, styles and stuff. We're going to actually just go over to the page and talk about this. Now this one has 20 non-looping natural sounds. Which is actually really cool. It actually even has a lullaby for the kids. It has water sounds. It has uh, nature. It has birds. Um, what else was it? Fans. It does like three or four different style of fans. And then it does like three or four different uh, loudnesses of the fans. So if you're a person that needs a fan on for the noise in the background, this may be an option for you for that also. I Now, I know that it wouldn't be a full option for my wife because my wife's got to have the big fan on high blowing on her at all times for some reason but i can contest that this actually works pretty cool now it also has a volume control where you can turn it up and down it does the therapy for the babies adults it's really cool and they actually can you know calm some people down with the white noise uh, especially people that are like high functioning and stuff like that it's a really nice little product now i will actually pop over and kind of grab the machine and show you the noise Damn if sure. I can get to that part. Okay. But what does it sound like? Well, you guys should hear that. That there you is go. the first sound, but volume. Well, thanks for the call, Daryl. So that is like a... actually super loud. It actually gets a lot louder than I thought. Now I'm going to play different tracks so you guys can hear the tracks. There's noise. Flying. Static. White noise. Pink noise. We got some, I think, waves. Waves. There's your fan. You guys actually can hear the helicopter on that one. I thought it was a helicopter, but it's actually a fan. Water. Lightning Storm, and thunder. That's actually cool. Rain on the roof. Rain trickling down. The brook. That sounds cool. I like the wave sounds, right? Uh, what did you miss? Uh, the bacon. We missed the bacon. There's your waves beating on the ocean. Uh, not a lot. Me making a fool of myself, you know, the usual. <laughs> Birds. Got the fire, right? Train. I don't know who'd want to listen to a train all day. I'm not sure who would sleep the train sounds. And more static, but that. But it's a really cool device. I mean, with all the different noises it can make, I really it's a nice device if somebody needs that white noise or has to have that fan noise to calm themselves or sleep at night. It's actually a nice little product. And at like twenty dollars, it's really crazy. So when I lived in here lived right yes. yeah I, I mean it happens i had a house that actually train tracks went right in front of 
too. And I mean, the first year I lived there, it was really annoying. But after a while, you just actually don't even notice it's coming by or hear it anymore. But it's one of them things that if I heard the horn all the time, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> Here it comes to shoot you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I in New York they're up off the ground. I, my house, my where I lived in Oregon, it actually was right in my front yard. Like literally, they took I think thirty feet of our yard to make the tracks. So, but the horn, that horn. I don't know about the horn, man. I just I can't picture that as a white noise. Or a uh, calming noise. I mean, some people maybe. But for me, eh, I'm good. Now the fans, I, I can deal with the fans. Because, I mean, I got fans on all the time. But that is the white noise machine, guys. Actually, really great product for, you know, a decent price. Thanks. I can see the sparks every time it goes past my, my old house. I can picture the sparks. Now, guys, uh, why did this hop over here like this? Now, we're going to move on over to the Yosoto Indoor Cycle. Justin did this video. Justin loves this thing. And here, unboxing and assembling so the different Yosuda now. I Indoor Stationary Bike. Did you now get rid of the pedals? Right on. Total time was about 45 minutes to an hour and 10 minutes. To Pretty put simple to do the pedals, right? Just have you watch screw it off and on, yeah. So the first thing you want to do is you want to unbox well, we it. Well, we need an upgraded video, man. Don't have two little Boston Terriers. Upgrade video. Like the foam panels and breaking we need it. the foam. Now, the foam does break a little easily. The styrofoam made a little bit of a mess, and I had to deal with my dogs kind of picking up and trying to eat pieces yeah, of the styrofoam. Yeah, so I agree. Just note that the styrofoam um, is that's why I always say whenever I had a bike that had those itself, straps, I'd take the them delicate off. delicate nature of the styrofoam. I would literally just pull them off. So a good portion of the assembly is actually just cleaning up, unwrapping, and getting rid of the styrofoam. So there you it's have not it. Not bad looking there either. Are I mean, that come with the bike. There are a lot of worse looking bikes, indoor cycles so out the there. This one doesn't look too bad. Install the feet for the back, and you'll just need two okay. bolts with the appropriate nuts on the top, and they give you all the tools. I'm lying too. I need so food. You just screw in each bolt one at a time, <laughs> and the feet are very solid. They hold up well. You can put them on hard floor or carpet. Very easy to install. Just tighten them. Make sure that they're tightened by hand, and then you tighten them to where they're nice and snug. So you because guys are actually, this is Justin in the video. Bike, you don't want Justin is the one that you guys see up there chatting in chat. And after you do the rear one, you're going to go ahead and start working on the front one. Now, the front one is if you guys are new here. first, then lift it up and align it. Uh, if you are new here, we'll go about a little itself. spiel. Again, we are a multi-streaming uh, channel. The there are several of us so that so stream on this channel. Your, your stationary bike there are several of us that are streaming on other channels works. also. We have been a blog first or uh, a channel Next, for a while. We do a lot of products. We go through a lot of products and testing. And again, you're going to want to use the same tool. I've been doing this for approximately eight years myself. I have over then after you get the right pedal in, didn't you work almost on seven hundred fifty to eight hundred videos on YouTube? So the on left our channel pedal, alone. you actually turn the other direction. You actually tighten it by spinning to the left instead of to the right. So now what you're seeing is that pedal and the pedal so uh, holder. Next, that's what he was talking about. The back bar he wears a size 13 goes. like me. You unscrew the lock, so you fitting your feet in that is actually a pain height, because it's too small. The seat. Again, the same but you can actually remove that or get different pedals very easily and replace them because it's just like a regular bicycle. You can actually screw on regular pedals onto this and change it out. Even the bicycle seat can be changed out to the seat style you like. Let's say maybe you like a 10-speed style seat where there's not a lot of cushioning. So or Skinner style seat, you can do that and change and it out. For the plates Very the easy to do. The handlebars. Just make sure it's nice and firm and snug so it doesn't work itself loose while you're holding onto it and working out. Next, you're going to install the little monitor, which gives you the amount of time you're running. And then finally, you have the operation of the bike. First thing to note, and I really love about this bike, is it has this little tension <laughs> screw. This allows you to make it to where it's harder or easier to pedal, and it gives you a workout. I like the water bottle holder, and you actually have an iPad holder as well. Wait, I need a water bottle holder? What? So that's the Usoto. Justin uses this thing every day. He actually loves this thing. So we show it a lot. I mean, it's if it, if he actually uses it that much, and it's got to be a great product. 
If you have any questions about any products that we have shown so far, please ask. If not, we will move on. Now, we're going to be moving on over to the Rhinefo Eye Massager. And I believe Nikita did the video of this one. But there is a story about a dog eating a Rhinefo Eye Massager around here somewhere. Okay, so let me adjust <laughs> it because I kind of have a big old head. So let's see. Why is that dark? There we go. Okay. So it's kind of inflating. Oh my god. So it inflates and then it depresses. Oh. Wait, this is so cool. Okay, so it inflates. And then I it love the R2-D2 in the, the, the background. Arrow. If you guys don't know that R2-D2 is okay, actually a Lego right kit. Now, before I start it. And then I'm going to play a song. Do I have it on? Oh, the volume. That's why. Okay, it's at maximum volume. Okay. Oh my god, the warm. Oh, it feels so warm. And I can hear my music too. So I'm gonna change the mode. It's actually okay, cool. You can Bluetooth your cool. stuff in there. Oh, it's doing like short oh, bursts. How you boom, doing? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay, so this is air pressure. Okay, so this is the one where it, it like, oh, it fills up on the sides. And then it releases, and then it fills up in the front, and then it releases. Oh, and there's heat. Yo! So this is a massager, guys, not a VR headset. Just letting you know. So that's the Info Eye Massager with heat, guys. As you can see, you can Bluetooth your phone into this device, so you can actually hear your music through it, so you can hear it relax with whatever you want to listen to, which is a great option. And it does inflate, deflate, and does have heating functions. Hey, David O. Now, we're going to be moving over to a product that I did not do. The vi That video is low. Uh, that would be Nikita's uh, ish, and then not mine. Now, we're moving over to the Govee Lights, guys. If you guys do not know Govee products, we love Govee products around here. Good morning, Jennifer. <laughs> uh, I have done a lot of Govee products. The Govee products are really, really great and have a very awesome app. Now, I'm going to kind of switch over to the big camera. Let's see if I can pull up the app and get the app to, to function. So, the Govee app goes on to all phones, right? Now, the app can actually pick up multiple of products. Every light you have from them, you can actually add onto there. Or like you see a meat thermometer. I have a digital meat thermometer. That digital meat thermometer has six different probes. Which is really great. Let's say you're making a whole bunch of different steaks and people want them cooked at different temperatures. You can add the probe in there. Now the Govi lights can work with this. It has multiple scenes. Let's see if I can actually pull one of these up. It may not connect right away because I think I have it powered off or unplugged because the desk is coming down tonight. Which it is. But with this, you guys, you have like 64 scenes in this. You have 65 feet of LED uh, it is an RGBIC, which means you can get a multiple of colors and not just a certain color in a certain section. With the RGBIC means you can actually do a smooth transition through the coloring patterns, a tracing, and all of that. Now, I'm going to show you guys a little video that I believe Jeff did for us on this one. Yes, he did. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm here today to talk to you about some Govi RGBIC lights. So these are LED lights, and the IC and the RGB IC stands for independently controlled. So you have a lot of control. That you As you guys, we can go in so far, inside, hopefully better than mine, so because uh, I will be tearing all my PCs down to tomorrow. I'm super excited to get these installed. I'm looking forward to it. All it's capable of. Um, if you don't know who Govi is, they are a uh, company who has a wide array of products, but they do a lot of Dark video products. So well, is that video louder than the last one, Jennifer? I have a, uh, a lamp. I've got several sets of RGB lights already. I've given some to friends and family. I've never once been disappointed. Everyone I give them to loves them. I love them. This is awesome. So I'm super excited to get these installed and see what I can do with them. All right. I have everything set up. Installation was quite easy. So inside the box were two rolls. Of I got packages at my door. 
I hear beeping. The alcohol prep pads, which I used to wipe down the surface of everywhere where I was painting the lights prior. And then uh, the controller as well. Oh, cost. Um, Costy. So Costy, Costy. I hope I didn't butcher that. Staring a little, little screen. If you guys know that I'm actually using the small screen chat really, today. Wow. This is so. Awesome. <laughs> so, I want to point out a few neat features on this app real quick. You can go ahead and select any one of these shades of light. So, I'm going to pick a few at random, and we're going to change colors. So, I have green set as the base right now. Let's change some to red. Those are the ones that I selected, and they're going to go change to red. The rest are going to remain green. Christmas is coming up, so this is looking pretty festive to me. Let's change those ones back to green real quick. I'm going to select them all. How about this? I'm going to select them all, make them go green, and select every other one, and we're going to go red. You know, just get a true Christmas theme there. Yeah, red and green. Perfect. Simple as that. Does it get any better? So... This is also uh, another neat tool or feature on the app. You can set up scenes. Right now, this is the forest scene. And what this is going to do, it's going to go through a preset chain. Or, uh, preset I color hear dogs. And light, this lighting effect. It's going to be like, you know, walking in a forest. You know, when you're going under a tree and you're in a shady spot and you get that nice little ray of sunshine, I think that's what this is supposed to represent. That's pretty Neighbor's cool. dog's well, going off, guys. Um, I don't know if you can hear it or not. Or rustling, or rustling <laughs> leaves, sunrise and sunset. This one's sunset. This one's sunrise. Universe one. This one's kind of cool. So too. that's what I like right there. The smooth transition. But, you know, my that is awesome. I have to admit, is the music one. So... So the music is mode is actually just like voice activated, but there is actually a different one where you can click on the music mode itself, where when you play the music, it'll actually go with the music and move the transitions, which is actually a great option. The Govi Lights, guys, this one, this kit's like 65 feet for $59 right now. I do not know if there's actually a clickable coupon, but I will check for you guys. And there is actually a $15 coupon with this. So if you guys click the coupon, you will save $15 off on this product also. Now, a lot of cool things about the Gobi products. And I'll actually kind of show you this. I actually have another Gobi product laying here. This is the Gobi Rope Light, guys. This thing's a lot different, but it is RGBIC too. Same controller, same app, and all that good stuff. Now, I'm telling you, I love the Gobi products. They just are well done, all one app. You know, a lot of companies will have separate apps for separate products. This one actually has one app for every product. And it does get updates every, you know, few weeks or so when it really needs a big update or they have a new product come out. And the cool thing is, is when it comes over here, and we'll just pop back to the scene about the Govi. It's very simple to find the product. You literally pull the app up, hit this plus sign up here, guys. And it'll start showing you a list of all the lights that they carry if you scroll through. Now, they also do LED strips, indoor lighting, outdoor lighting. You have other lights, home improvement, and appliances. So they do have appliances like literally smart theaters, smart fans, uh, air purifiers, and a smart kettle. They have a kettle that runs off this app. So it'll tell you when it's getting to temperature or when you want to start the kettle to heat up. It allows all that. So the Gobi products is actually a really, really great, great products. I, I'm really, really blown away by the products. Now, I see I have a product on here, the Lamy Call, but I didn't see it. Guys, give me one sec to grab that real quick. So, Lammy Call. Let's talk about Lammy Call, guys. The Lammy Call phone holder. I use, yeah, Smart Kettle. You can literally, you can start, start it in any time by your phone. You just leave the water in there. You can actually start it from another room, or it'll tell you when it's ready to go off if you're outside and all of that stuff. Now, Lammy Call, if you guys know, I've been using the Lammy Call phone holder for my chat uh, screen from the iPhone for quite a few weeks now. Great little product. But we happen to get their new one, and this one's actually really cool. Also, it is smaller. It is still metal-based. It's actually a metal base with, like, almost a paint covering. 
nice soft edges. Now this cool thing on the back, this round hole is actually so you can actually put your phone plug through it to char plug it in and charge it. So if you're using it, you can literally plug it. Nice wide open hands, guys. Easy to hold. Holds my big phones. It'll actually hold a tablet this way if you guys want to hold a tablet with it. Now, the one thing is if you put a tablet like this, it'll actually tip over backwards. So don't do that. Very well done. Lots of grip. It actually has padding to grip and keep your phone nice and safe from scratching since it is metal. Now, on the bottom, it has a lot more grips. Now, I actually added these three, this one, this one, and this one, to make it a lot more stable and a lot more uh, safer for my new desk. But this is actually a nice, nice phone holder. And I mean, it's like $9 if you need a phone holder for your desk. It's a great option. And the cool part, like I said, and I'll grab a phone call. Like literally, this helps keep all your cables from looking like a mess. You know, instead of having it all the way out and around, you just have it lined up and ready to sit on your phone through the back and keeps it all put away. I like that they added that hole. Very cool thing. Now, like I said, I have no quarrels with their, their products. I've been using the other products for quite a while, and I actually love the other stand. And I'll kind of show you guys the other stand. Now, this other stand, again, has the rubber pads. For your phone but this one actually is adjustable tiltable you can actually move it height adjustable if you need more height uh, if you need less height you can drop it down rubber pads on the bottom just a great little product and decently priced i mean it's just uh, you know one of the things you didn't need you didn't think you needed until you needed it or didn't know it existed until it existed i have not quit using it since I got it, which is just funny because I don't have phone holders for my other phones. But I have. Oh, my phone went off. Looks a bit on. It's actually not. You mean this one? Now you want to see how stable it is? Hold on. <laughs> If you're worried about stabilization, let's talk about it. Now let's grab the camera control. Leave. Nope, the other way. You worried about stabilization? Hold the tablet, buddy. No issues. Either way. Eh, no issues with holding the tablet. And it's not made for a tablet. So there's no stabilization issue with this. I mean, literally, it's in place. I, and that's the good thing about it. <laughs> Move this back up here like that. Eyes over here. On camera. So yeah. Yeah, it's actually it's really great. I can't believe it'll hold the phone with no problem or tablet. Especially since it's only made for the phone. Dude, you don't need it. I'm telling you, you don't need it. I've actually had the tablet on it shaking the desk. It won't tip. Now it gets a little unstable with the tablet on the smaller one though. I'll show you guys why. Because it's a smaller base and it's a smaller design, when you put the tablet in long mode like this, I mean, look at the weight you have leaning back. So it wants to push it this way. But if you set it this way, it sets just fine. Not an issue. I, I love the products. And good morning, Ed. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Now, guys, we're going to move over to the Quin Air Knee Massagers. If I can find the video. Nope, that's the info. Quin Air. Hello, everyone. Yeah, so they, they're, they're actually I'm pretty stable. I have no knee problem with them. Made by Quin Air. With this knee massager, it came with heat. I honestly it thought it wouldn't hold it and it would tip, too. Knee, so, brace wrap. Just giving you a heads up, it, it won't tip. Heat. 
for your arthritis pain. And then you have the joint pain that you can Where's use my for phone cramps. Lord, I have so much today. And then it has People. three circulation modes that you can use and three intensities of how hard you want the massager to go. Uh, so with this knee nobody caught this. I forgot to move over to the video screen. Made by Quinier. With this knee massager, it came with heat, and it also has an air compressed Good morning, Allie. leg knee. Yeah, more Where's compact, that? so wait, what, the tipping radius on the last one. But this one actually has a much higher pain. base. And then you have the so it can hold joint either way. that you can use it for cramps. And then it has three circulation modes that you can use and three intensities of how hard you want the massager to go. So with this knee wrap right here, I'm going to show you guys. It has uh, two and two airbags inflated. How is your weekend, Allie? It deflates. Yeah, you know, and it can reduce joint pain. Now, and you can stiffness. use these knee massagers without heat if you don't stiffness. want the heat to work, guys. You, you don't have to use both knees and either. If you just want to use one side, you can definitely do that also. Two pack right here, which, you know, just you have the left so you and the right. And then you have the charger cord, which is dual, so you can charge them at the same time. And then you have the bag right here, which you can take it anywhere you want to, as in you can take it with you in your car, or you can take it to work, or you can even have it in your office, or anything you want to take it to. And this knee massager only weighs about two pounds, and it's really easy to carry around, like I said. And it has that three air pressure intensities, and then the two heating levels can be combined. Now they are There's labeled right and left, settings, guys, because they do used, only fit right and left. You with personalized massage experience. But if you have a left leg for a right leg, don't worry about varying that. Varying degrees of pain. We have really anything awesome for pain or sciatic? And we do all the modes right there. We've it's actually tested back oh, braces and stuff like that. Pretty much what it looks like on right here. Like I said, it comes in this Velcro straps, which is just strap them around your legs and put them on and press the red for power and turn them on and you can turn on the intensity of how hot you want it and all that is all labeled on there and to simply put this away as you can see right there it's really easy and fast and Quinier made an awesome massage brace for your knees and I do highly recommend this product so that's the Quinier heat and air compressed knee massager actually a nice little product if you guys need it now we're going to be moving over to the Syncomp massaging gun and now uh I would love to see it at some point. Uh, we showed it yesterday, but also Tinge units, man. Tinge units work miracles. I'm telling you, I uh, talked to Justin about Tinge units. They actually really work very well. Now, the massager, I don't I think I did this video. I did. This is like an older video. James here with the quick unboxing show. Oh, yeah. Product, guys. This is from our friends over at Syncom. There's a lot this of stuff in the background. Precision muscle and an old desk. Massager, guys, right? <laughs> This has a 15 minute timer, six changeable heads. It has a 2000 milliamp battery for six hours of use time on a full charge, right? So you get Dude, it's so hot in my place. Plus it has a super quiet and high torqued motor. So you guys are probably sure does. this little box. What's inside it? Let's pop it open and let's show you. So inside this is of course a carrying case, which is very cool that they give you this nice carrying case, right? So inside the carrying case, uh, it's possible, man. I do stream early. We'll show you the little case. It's got their logo now. Most days it's like eleven o'clock for me. Handle strap, so you guys can take. Well, my time, Eastern. You know, it's good that they give you the case. So Justin might be able to show it tomorrow on stream. And stuff like that. He so is doing a stream open, tomorrow. You have the user manual up here, right? You have a whole bunch of the heads, like you have the little uh, ballpoint hammerhead. We have rounder style. Then we have the round, right? These are all rubberized, very soft, and actually simple. Large yeah, a little story about this massager. The hook for my daughter stole it dressing. from me. And then we have the she now owns one. it. Then you have the charger, Hits. right? Just around. I would have <laughs> it was just a USB C charger, but they give you that. So the device itself. Let's set this down kind of in front of me. Pull the device out. As you guys can see, nice large device. You have the power button, then the modes. I believe you just probably press it to go through. Down here you have your on and off and the charging cord. So let's turn it on. Now you guys can see it comes on up here. This is where it will change the, as you guys 
Hopefully you guys can see that. This is the vibration modes, right? Wow, that really gets going. So very simple massager, six different heads, like multiple of I uh, levels of I uh, intensities and a 15 minute timer. So it will stop after 15 minutes. So you don't over massage yourself. Actually very cool product. I will not bore you too long with that one. Now we're going to move over to the Nexi Go PS5 station stand. This is something I know Justin has and it has used. So we will showcase that. What's going on everyone? I'm here showcasing the Nexigo multifunctional cooling stand for the PlayStation 5. As you can see from the picture on the box, it holds your PlayStation 5 in a vertical mode. Ruh -ruh. It charges and holds two controllers. It My has kid lost her a jewelry. holder for the remote. <laughs> and you can't see on this side, but on the back, it actually has a way for you to put your games. If you have physical copies of the games, you could stack them and create a line of physical copies of the game. Now, not a lot it of people keep physical copies anymore. Speed, game speed, low speed, I mean, I do for my Nintendo Switch. And I so gave all my Xboxes away, but to have that option, it's a nice little option to have, but a lot of people aren't going to use it anymore. Especially with everybody going digital. Side stickers here. <laughs> Dang. This one solid piece there. Nothing to assemble. It is white. It is a little heavier than I think, which is good because the PlayStation 5 is heavy, so it needs to have some heft to it. So it is a little heavy. It is white. It's plastic. You can see, if I show you inside here, you can see where the fan vents are in the PlayStation. Uh, it's got uh, actual fans, too. The vents come out sideways over there. Huh. You can see here's a exit port for the heat hot air. These are the front like controller indicators. And of course, here's the back where you put your cartridges, which ironically, I don't have any physical game cartridges anymore. See, I, I knew he was going to say so I have actually nothing here in this house that I could use to slot in here to show you examples of the game cartridges. I buy all my games digitally now. And of course, it comes with dual USB. It needs two USB ports. That dog in the so background. We'll plug that in. Oh, come on, man. You just got it. Here, and I take up two USB ports on the PlayStation 5 for it to charge. And of course, there's a button right here to control the fan speed. So let's go get my PS5 and my controllers and put them on, show how it works. Now, let me show how you mount the PlayStation 5 to the Nexigo PlayStation 5 base station, right? You have this little mounting pin with a little screw on it, like this. And this is going to go through the bottom here. And oh, you actually mount it. Screw it to your PlayStation. Right? I was not expecting that. I figured it would just sit do. right on it. To find your port on the PlayStation, just look at the bottom of your PlayStation. You'll see this little tiny black <laughs> rubber or plastic piece. Pull that out. And that is your I screw, screw to port. a tripod. <laughs> so then you're going to want to just mount it on your base station. And I'll show you that in a second when I go get a screwdriver. You're going to go mount it. Right now, so we're gonna want to. Yeah, dogs are yeah, probably playing. Upside down. That. There's, this is the front. Right? So we want to do this. Fail. Watch it fall. Make sure this lines <laughs> up. Which side do you want to do it? This side or that side? Hey guys, we'll kind of clip forward over here. You can see the. You guys can see it actually plugged in, charged on. It actually shows you a little digital pictures of it charging. So they're on and they're fully charged. The fans on. The fans on max. I don't know if you can hear it, but the fans on max right now. And then I can press the low fan noise. Hey, it does change, bro. And then off. Of course, I have an earbud in, so I can hear it. Orange or red. Yellow is medium fan speed. Green is low fan speed. Like hi, sir. Hi. So if you guys need a little PlayStation 5 stand, this is a nice little option. Now we're going to be moving over to Justin's daily shoes. This is the shoes he wears daily. It is Under Armour, guys. Now they are, uh, I've actually never wore Under Armour, so... 
I'll let him talk all about it. I am here talking about the Under Armour Charged Assert Sneaker, which I've been using these for just a few days now, and I have to tell you, I've always been a Nike shoe guy, and I've never felt Same. a more comfortable Jordans. sneaker than these um, than these Under Armour Charged Assert. Squeaky to- what yeah, I really dogs, like man. about dogs them is toys. the extremely good grip of the rubber soles. When I'm going for walks or I'm going for hikes, even jogs in the street, they just really, really firmly grip the ground. And the shaping is just perfect for my feet. It's the right heel to toe ratio, the right width because I have wide feet. And I love that they have the loop back here to easily just slide my sock in and I could keep my sock in. I don't even have to unlace them and I could slide my feet in. And they just feel great. The mesh top is light and breathable. Again, I've worn a lot of different sneakers over the years, and I gotta tell you, these Under Armour uh, Charged Asserts are among the best sneakers that I've ever walked in, I've ever gone to hikes in, and I highly recommend them. And again, I use ah, PS5, you know, yeah. Nike Monarch 4s for my favorite your, sneakers prior to these. They're dropping a lot t- more and more, so away. people These are, are actually by far my them. favorite sneakers that I've worn in the past year, I'll tell you that much. These are the Under Armour Charged Asserts. These are actually size 13. I'm normally a size 12 and a half, but I, I had to go half a size up because they, they form fit. They're not ultra wide, but they're perfect. So for some reason, I'm a size so 13 the in these, thing, but I'm a 12 and a half in certain other shoe brands. I have to wear like 13s brands. half of the time so because most shoes aren't You might want to check a half a size larger than you normally sh- are or you know, try them on. So just n- that's a good thing to know that they actually, the, if you go to 13, it'll fit properly. Now we're going to move over to a doggy and kitty video, and this is the... I believe the bed shirt orthopedic dog dog bed that was done. And I believe, yep, I was right. Hey, hey Faustino. Jason Wiley here. And today we are going to be checking out the bed shirt Morning, buddy. orthopedic bed. Now, if you are in the <laughs> cat market, give me the tail. Give me the tail. Dog bed <laughs> for your lovely fur pal. <laughs> this is actually an excellent option. Now, a couple of the features that they have now is that we can talk to... about this a little bit. The dog bed, guys, it actually has a cover that can come off and you can wash it. So that's actually a really cool thing. And it's got the raised little ledges to make them feel like they can lean up against it, which is actually cool also. Now, it is orthopedic, so it is like almost a memory foam insert or an egg carton style insert. It does have a zipper that you can unzip to pull it apart to wash it and clean it, which is a really great option. As you can see, his dog really loves it. Now, we've used a lot of BedShare products, and we can contest that they're actually very nice. I mean, I have the BedShare blankets all around the house and some BedShare uh, pillowcases. I actually, my whole bed is covered in BedShare products, um, so... Uh, really a lot of decent products and as you guys can see the dog and cat really actually enjoy this and i can actually click forward let's go forward here now this is where you'll see it's coming apart it's an egg carton style really neat that can come off of them and he's got the cat hidden in there of course you know the cat loves it <laughs> video bomber exactly you know the, the cat you know the animals love it so, and as you guys see, his animals actually really love this bed. Now, Justin has a whole bunch of dog beds, and I know they've used bed sure, and the animals just love the products. Comfort, knowing that they're the the cat's the star, and she absolutely loved it, even just from night one. Margaret, I mean, I know we're down to one more product. Some product to So, thank you all for checking this product out with me. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. So that's the BedShare dog orthopedic dog bed or pet bed, guys. It can be used for either more dogs, cats, pigs, whatever you got in your house. You may have a pet little pig. I mean, hey, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, we're going to move on to the last product. This is from Flybird. This is their adjustable weight set. This is from anywhere from 25 to 55 pounds. Now, I know Justin actually has this and uses this quite a lot. So we will show you guys this. Flybird adjustable dumbbells, fantastic to have in the house because it's useful for when I work out. Both me and my son are different weight strength. And then I got to figure out my phone. So the cat left. Yeah, the cat was five, probably chasing 15, him around. Or was all turned up to 20 or 25, and we could both share the same <laughs> dumbbell set. So that way we don't have to have all these excessive dumbbells around in our house. You can see how easy it is to just slide it in, 
rotate the, the weight level you want to use. And again, having two of these, one for each hand, just gives you that flexibility. This is the 25 pound max weight size, but they also come in a 50 pound max weight size. And again, Flybird makes excellent weight products. I, if you have a goat, I mean, I guess. I'm pretty sure the goat will eat it, though. <laughs> so like I said, they do have the 25 and the 50 pound one. Justin does have the bigger one also, but this is the 25 pound version. Yeah, the cat was like, hey, there's food over there. I'm going to go attack that. So I'm going to go about my spiel because that's the last product for the day. Now, tomorrow, Justin will be back uh, in a new place. He is moving all of his computer equipment and office into an actual office or bedroom. So he is doing that today. That's why he's been a little scarce. He's starting his move. Second is... Uh, I will not be back until an undetermined amount of time because they are working on my ceiling this weekend, which means I have to tear apart the PC in front of me, the PC behind you, got, that you guys see in the back corner, the Xbox, the TVs. All of it has to move out of this living room. So unfortunately, until they fix my ceiling this week, I am down and out, which means... There's going to be slightly, a little less streams for me for a couple days, probably. I mean, I don't stream until Wednesday anyway, so maybe Wednesday. And I, hopefully I'll be back Thursday or Friday. So a few days off, you know, is what it is. But I'll still be pushing out a whole bunch of videos while I'm doing it. I hope it goes smoothly, too. Because this leak has been driving me nuts. And I just, it's getting too close to my PC. Uh, if you guys know the amount of P the what it costs to build a PC anymore, it's just crazy. Uh, and secondly, tomorrow is also Easter, guys. So I want to wish you guys an all happy Easter. Hopefully you guys have a great day with your families, you know, and all of that. Stay safe, you know, have fun. Don't eat too much of the candy or don't drink too much of the liquor that you hide around the house because the kids have drove you nuts. <laughs> Um, so tomorrow, of course, they will be doing their stream. I, they will have giveaways, so make sure to pop in for that. I hope you guys all have a great day. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to actually go eat, then maybe do about 13 or 14 product videos. Let's see how this works out. Happy Easter, guys, and have a great one.